All right, so I'm creating a program, which uh, is kind of like an animation slash rigging tool for uh, Godot called GoDo. And uh, what I'm going to demonstrate right now is I have this Mixamo Run Fast FBX that I've downloaded, and I'm going to auto rig a sprite sheet in uh, Godot with my program. So. I have that in this folder FBX files right here. I have my program open here. Uh, I'm going to choose a folder where I want the PNGs to be. Choose a sprite sheet location where I want my sprite sheet to be output to. So we'll also add our FBX uh, file. So we're getting this FBX folder with our one file in it. And then what I'll do is hit this button down here to run the Blender process. And the Blender is opened up. Over here it's going to remain black because it's not going to load until our script runs. But you can see it's rotating. And I'll just wait for this to finish. And then it pops up. So I just have this script in here that auto runs. And all it does is just take our model and uh, render it in... Um, all directions on the z-axis for eight directional movement so it'll play the animation there and render that play it there render that play it there render that and go all the way around for eight directions because I am doing this for eight directional movement I don't want to save it but now since we ran our blender process if I go to my PNGs I now have uh, a folder named the same as the FBX which has my individual PNGs for each direction. Although I believe we are facing in the wrong direction because I didn't correct the model. But I'll have that fixed when when time comes to that. But yeah, you can see there each direction for uh, eight directional movement. So now that I have that, I go back to my program and I'll say create sprite sheet. And you can see some stuff popped up down here. So then if I go to my sprite sheet, I have a sprite sheet built of all of the different directions of running. And so here's, that's, uh, you know, that's pretty standard. A lot of people already have stuff like that. This is where I have kind of my cool thing, where if I go down here and I say create Godot scene, we now go back to there and we have this tester.tscn. So if I take both of these files and I just copy them and then I paste them into this blank Godot uh, file that I already have. So I'll just go there and go, uh, let's just say paste. Where is that? Paste. All right. Okay. So yeah, you can see that we have, uh, them right here and right there now. So I'll go, uh, let me go to my documents and open up Godot, go to my desktop and, uh, I'll go to Godot 3.4. We'll open that up and then if I go down here to my testing project we can open this up and we'll say fix dependencies and we just need to set it to the sprite sheet that we brought over with it and we'll say open anyways we then go to my sprite and you can see we have all of these already rigged we have to change them to, I think, 24 FPS. Down left fast, that should make it right. There we go, yeah, so that looks better. I think we're missing a frame, maybe. Or maybe we have too many frames. Oh. There we go, we had too many frames, so I'll have to fix that, but you can see that this would be a lot easier than uh, rigging every single one yourself. So, yeah, and uh, I have big plans for this. Uh, basically, my idea is to, you would come in here and select like 3D. You'd say, I want a player character. Its character name will be, I don't know, um, Solaire. Why the fuck not? And then uh, we would add a movement type. We'd say like, uh, you know, third person. And then that would, you'd hit create a Godot scene and you would have a player character uh, with a scene named Solaire and it would have a kinematic body with your model rigged and ready to go. 
And then I also wanted to include a scene mover, which would go into a Godot file and grab all the dependencies for a scene and then move it someplace else. So like if you had two different Godot, um, you know, projects, which always happens, you make one thing and you want to bring it to another project, well, you could do it easily here. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to continue working on this and I'll probably put out a, um, a demo on uh, hopefully the end of October. And I'm just going to make this free for everyone. I don't see any reason to charge or anything. It's not anything special. It'll be open source up on my GitHub and that'll be towards the end of uh, the month of October. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.